everyone. So this video is really requested. It's what I use for my skincare and that kind of stuff. And um, just so you guys know what kind of skin I have, so you know if maybe this video is perfect for you, or if everyone's skin is pretty much different. Some people have oily, some people have dry, some have normal, perfect skin. But me, myself, I have dry, sensitive skin, and I react really fast and really badly to some products. And so these are the products that work for me, and I pretty much stay true to them. Once in a while I try new things, but um, this is what I use to keep my skin moisturized and not flaky, and um, try to keep acne away. I was actually having like really, really bad acne for a while, and I'll tell you about that soon, but I came up with five things that would work for anyone. If you have dry, oily, normal skin, these are just rules that anyone should follow, so there's five of them. And I'll go through that, and then I'll show you what I use and all that. So number one rule, I think, so number one, is to always wash your face at morning and night. Even if you're really tired, and I've done it before, where I just fall asleep with my makeup on, and then not only does it affect your skin that night, but when you sleep, at least me, you know, my skin is on my pillow with the makeup, and it rubs off, and so then the next night, I sleep on the same pillow, and I just kind of keep getting that effect until I, I mean, I don't wash my pillowcase every day, I don't know about you, but until I wash my pillowcase. And so it really is just the worst thing to sleep with your makeup on. Okay, so tip number two to have perfect skin is to not use tons of soap to clean your face at once. It's a lot better to just use uh, a pea size amount. So instead of just putting on like a whole bunch of soap and rubbing it all over and just getting your makeup off, just try using a little bit of soap and trying to get the makeup off your eyes first because that's usually the hardest for me. And then go again with a tiny amount all over your face. And I just feel like that works a lot better than just kind of doing a once over because I feel like using a tiny bit twice is just a lot more effective. So, and it will also probably save product because you end up using a lot. Okay, so tip number three is um, whenever you try a new product, give it two weeks to really see the full results because it takes some time for your skin to get used to a new product because it does change the pH levels of your skin and sometimes if it is a good product and it is working, your skin takes time uh, to get used to it and then sometimes you'll have a lot of breakouts because it's cleansing your skin and it's just making a lot of stuff come to the surface and that might, you might take it as, oh my gosh, it's really breaking up my skin, it's super sensitive, give it two weeks, unless you're having like some extreme allergic reaction or it's painful or something like that, then don't use it. But if you're kind of like, oh, it's kind of like giving me a little bit of breakout, maybe your skin's just getting used to it, really give it two weeks for your skin to really see, like get the correct results from the product you're trying. Okay, so my tip number four is to, just as important as washing your face, I have some friends who don't moisturize because their skin isn't dry like mine. And even if your skin isn't dry, it's still really important to moisturize. And if you have oily skin, there is some, um, get like a non, an oil-free moisturizer. And you can go to Sephora, and the people there, that's what I do, I ask them. They're really helpful. They, like, the people who work in the actual skincare sc section are really no knowledgeable. I can't speak. They're really knowledgeable of everything you need to know, and all the different lines they carry. And usually they have, like, a section that says, like, all the products perfect for dry and oily and combination and normal skin. Um, at least my Sephora has that in the back where all the skincare is. And there also is a lot of good drugstore products and just as important as moisturizing is to exfoliate. And uh, I know some people don't really exfoliate or they exfoliate too much. Really you should probably exfoliate just once. Okay, so tip number five and my final tip is if you're having problem skin, there can be tons of different reasons of why you're getting problem skin. Either you're kind of maybe in high school or middle school and your hormones are just kind of making everything go haywire in your body and you're getting breakouts because of that. Or maybe it's because of your diet. And diet really affects my skin. I'm actually allergic to a lot of the fake dyes. Maybe there's something, oh yeah, strawberries do that to me too. They give me breakouts, isn't that weird? So um, I still eat them sometimes, but maybe there's something in your diet that you could sort of eliminate slowly and see if that's why your skin is acting up. Or uh, your skin may be acting up because of products that you're not even using on your face or you're eating. It could be products you're using on your hair, and that happened to me. I was having horrible skin for probably four months, and I just recently figured it out. What was making my skincare bad? 
uh, my skin bad and I changed my skincare line and then I went back and I changed my diet. I started doing this juice cleanse and only eating raw foods and um, I was just like, oh my gosh, like what's wrong with my skin? I just don't understand. And it was actually because of my leave-in conditioner, uh, surprisingly. It's a leave-in conditioner I love. It's, it's a 10. It's a great leave-in conditioner if you're not allergic to it. But it went, it's just like, I'd sleep on my hair when it was wet, and I'd put leave-in conditioner in my hair when I'd sleep. And it would just clog my pores all along my cheeks and all my forehead and my scalp too. So I switched leave-in conditioners, and my skin is completely cleared up. And I was like, even on antibiotics for a little bit to help clear up my skin, which I do not suggest antibiotics are good for certain things, but such an aesthetic reason of skin probably isn't good to completely harm your body. So um, yeah, those are my five tips I think will work for anyone. Okay, so in the morning, I like to wash my face with Purity, and I am almost out. This is a Philosophy line product. I love the Philosophy line. They are at Sephora, and um, yeah, I also clean my makeup brushes with this. Probably one of my favorite products is the Amore Pacific skincare line. I just looked at the bottle in case you're wondering. I, I always forget the name for some reason. Uh, it's a Korean skincare line, and it's also from Sephora. And the only reason I don't have everything from this line is because it is really, really, really expensive. Um, this bottle is $100, but I've had it for almost a year now, and I still have some left. My moisturizer I ran out of within four months, and it was $100 too. And so I didn't rebuy the moisturizer because I have a drugstore moisturizer that I do really like, and it works, you know, efficiently. I've been a huge fan for probably three years of the exfoliating set from them, and I think it's $60, but I, it's really, really worth it. It's way better than any uh, exfoliator I've ever used before, definitely, like I feel a complete difference. I said I was using the a more Pacific uh, lotion until it ran out, so I switched to the Olay, lo oh, <laughs> the Olay lotion, which I like just as much, and it's really, really cheap. Um, I think their products are great. Uh, I use these all throughout high school mostly, some of the time I use the philosophy set, but um, yeah, I, I like this, this is just, it's not comparable to the $100 one, but you know, it's, it's good, I like it. And the body mask I use is from Adovia, and it's so much fun. Like, me and my friend went to this spa treatment kind of thing, and it's, like, way outside of L.A. where we live. We drove forever, and it's pretty much on a farm, and what it is is, like, mud baths. And um, it was kind of weird because it was, like, a giant mud bath, and there were, like, a bunch of old people in it, like, probably, like, 15 other people in the mud bath, and I was like, people usually pee in pools, and you can do a lot more in mud than me, so um, I was kind of like scared, but um, I was, so I was really excited when I found that this is pretty much the exact same thing. It's a deep sea mud, and you can rub it all over your body, and I've been using it on my body, and it said you can use it on your face, but I always get kind of weirded out when uh, products are meant for your body and your face, so I haven't really used it on my face until today, and I really actually do like it on my face too, oddly. Um, it made my skin feel really soft, and it kind of did something different on my face than it did on my body, and maybe it's because I always exfoliate my face, but it kind of exfoliates my body almost, and then it makes it feel really just fresh and just like look kind of more revitalized. And then on my skin, it didn't exfoliate my, I mean on my skin, on my face skin, it didn't um, exfoliate my face at all, it made it really soft feeling, it was really odd, I don't know, maybe because my body just doesn't really get exfoliated with just like a loofah and so my products. I have some other ones, but I don't really love them as much, so I just decided not to show you them. I just showed you my favorite products, and hopefully this video was helpful. But my Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr will be below, and I will talk to you guys soon, and bye bye